Inside each of these four painting kits, there are three large tubes of SAA paints and also a guide sheet of how to paint the pictures. But in addition to that, you'll have access to three YouTube videos where you can paint them along with me. Hello, thank you for joining me on this watercolour painting demonstration. My name is Bill Lupton. Uh, as you can see, I've just drawn a little cottage uh, and a path. Uh, this painting's completed using my kit, uh, specifically designed for winter scenes. I've started with uh, quite a wet brush here and I'm just wetting the sky, making sure I avoid the cottage. So I'm wetting all of the sky area with clean water. Well, as you can see, I wet the sky quite a lot in this and now I'm using the blue paint to just put some very soft colour into the sky area. Wet into wet, it does soften quite a lot, lighten quite a lot, but most importantly, it does move around. Whilst that pale blue is still wet, I'm dropping in a little bit of the sepia in places. Because this is a snow scene, I'm using again a very weak mix of the blue, which would be um, in the snow as it reflects the sky. So I'm just using a nice shade of blue and then lots of water to let that soften and run around to create a snowy effect. Also adding a very weak mix of the sepia in places. I want to put the path in now, so again with a very very pale blue mix, just some horizontal strokes to create the line of the path. When the painting's dry, I'm using a very weak mix of sepia just to define a boundary fence or a hedge uh, behind the cottage. And whilst that sepia paint is still wet, I'll just drop some water in between and maybe a touch of blue just to soften that distance off. And using the same colours, again quite weak mix, I'm just adding some interesting hillside to the right hand side of the cottage. And with a mix of the sepia and the blue, I've created quite a dark colour. I'm just popping in some pine trees around that cottage. And whilst that background is still damp, I drop a little bit of dark in there and it just throw the cottage out quite nicely. So on the right hand side building up against some darks and just in that left hand side it just brings the cottage right out before I start adding colours to the cottage. I'm not sure there's enough trees in there so I'm going to pop a few more in using the same colour and the same technique. I'm now happy that that dark paint around that light area has really brought the cottage out. Now it's time to start painting the cottage. I'm wetting the walls now with a very weak mix of the red paint. What I'll do then is take quite a strong mix and drop it into that water and let it spread around. And 
now with a clean damp brush I'm just soaking some of that paint away so I've got a nice variety of the tone in there. At the moment the roof's too white so I will wet that with a touch of blue paint very very slightly just to reflect the sky. Now using quite a dark mix of the grey blue shade I'm just adding in shadows underneath the eaves and one end of the cottage. Using the same dark mix I just want a very thin line to emphasise the, the edge of the path. So I'm putting in the paint and then I'm going to use water just a clean brush and just soften the base of that into the path. Now with quite a strong mix, this is the blue shade paint mixed with the sepia. It gives me not quite a nice dark colour. I've painted in where I think the main tree should be and then I'll create the branches by flicking out from the centre. And then with a clean wet brush just to make sure it looks like it's rooted into the ground I'm just running water along the base and allowing that to grow into the ground. Using the same dark mix and the rigger brush I'm adding a boundary fence along the right hand side of the path. If I put the fence in quick enough, enough I can use then a wet brush just to slide along the base, it just gives it a nice edge. And again still with the rigger brush and a nice dark mix of the blue with the sepia I can put some doors and windows in the cottage. I'm going to assume that the light's coming from this left hand side and therefore I'm going to pop in a few shadows using a medium mix of the grey colour. And if the light is coming from the left hand side then the right hand front wall of the cottage would of course be in shadow also. So I need to have a very thin layer of the dark mix over there just to create three dimensional look on the cottage. Well there we go, there's the winter cottage finished. Um, don't forget there are other kits available so why not have a go with some of the other colours and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.